back at Fantasia Land. It's a little cold and wet for a river quest today, but would be a good time to go on it since it's walk on. That's right, we are back at Fantasia Land. It's been a whole two weeks for me, but uh, since our last visit, the new Rookberg Land is in soft opening right now. So we're gonna go check out Rookberg and the new Fly Roller Coaster if that opens today. And we're gonna go on Terra and do a bunch of other stuff. It is a Monday, happy Columbus Day. So, and it's kind of cold and rainy out today. So hopefully this is the perfect day for theme parks. There should be no lines for anything. It's gonna be great. Entering Klugheim right now and Terran is doing its test runs. You can kind of see in the distance. Line is forming up. Debating whether to do that first or maybe something else. It is 9.56 and they are starting to let people in for Terran, which is pretty new. First time they've let people in early for a while. So that's exciting. The Terran overflow queue is pretty packed right now, but was tracking yesterday afternoon, everything was five to 10 minute wait, so hopefully everything dies down in a little bit, but we'll see. All right, we just got off Terran, my 23rd time on the ride. How is that, Ash? What a relaxing ride, huh? All right, now that we got Terran out of the way, not saying that like it's a bad thing or anything, we're gonna head down to Main Street, grab uh, some snacks for breakfast, and check out and see if they are letting people into the new Rookberg area of the park, and uh, if so, then we'll check that out. Change of plans, chop us is a zero minute wait and Ash is dragging me on a water ride even though it's like 45 degrees out here. But hey, no line. Man, during the summer this whole line would be full right now. But there's no line. Oh yeah, definitely walk on. All right, we just got off chop us, that was fun. Now it's raining, so we're very wet and it's very cold. <laughs> Not really. Thank you for dragging me on that. You're welcome. And the Rookberg overflow queues are not full right now, so I'm assuming Rookberg is open. So after I get my fruit cup, we're gonna check out Rookberg. All right, we got some watermelon fruit cups, and it does appear that fly is open with a 20 minute wait, so let's go check that out. We are now walking through the main entrance to Rookberg. I believe it's the only entrance open right now. And it is starting to rain quite a bit more, so, uh, I'm gonna film a little more once it stops raining, but here's our first peak. Oof. All right, so back there is the entrance we just came through. There's also a chocolate and candy store we'll check out in a little bit. You can hear the fly coaster being launched. And it is, it's not the weather today, it's just very steamy in this area. Like there's a lot of steam coming up through the vents and stuff like that. It's a very uh, steampunk themed, literally. But we're about to hop in the entrance to fly right here. It's only a 20 minute wait. So let's check that out. So the queue line is pretty cool. You start by coming up the stairs and you go through all these tunnels and stuff like that. You get a really cool view of the area. It's kind of this section where the railroad tracks end. If you're a first time flyer, they do hand out these little it's a roller coaster. They do hand out these little brochure things that basically say you have to put all your electronics, phone, camera, stuff like that in these lockers. They give you these wristbands and you put all of your stuff in these lockers because the ride goes like over the people and stuff like that. They don't want you know, stuff falling out. So kind of similar to what rides like Rip Ride Rocket and uh, the roller coasters at Universal Studios do. And you do actually go through a metal detector before you board the ride. So you can't really sneak anything in. The queue line's very interesting. It takes you all the way around and it's pretty kind of bland for the most part. Like we're just like on some concrete right now. But they got like kind of, you know, blimp drawings and blueprints and stuff like that. So it is themed pretty well. You can see one of the upward launches here. It's actually the second launch. And you can see the Hotel Charles Lindbergh in the distance. You can stay here. Oh, there it goes. You can stay here on property. It's about 400 a night. Depending on the day you stay and stuff like that. But it does give you two days in the park, express passes for fly, 
uh, dinner and breakfast and stuff like that. So it's a pretty good all-inclusive deal. It'll be really cool to come here in a month or two during their Winter Tron Winter event. See what all this looks like at nighttime. You can see the first launch right here. Semi indoor section of Q line, kind of like a garage or like a workshop. Pretty neat. There's all these kind of like piles of rocks everywhere, sort of like theming, I guess. But if you wanted to, you could just like pick up a rock, take a souvenir if you want. Some more of that rock work over here. And you do actually kind of have some water features you fly over during the ride. And it's pretty cool. So, unlike other flying roller coasters like BM flyers, you actually board and disembark with the track on its side. So you kind of sit down already sitting up, and then your seat kind of rotates into position. Like that. As you make your way down the stairs right here, here's where you would normally select which row you would like to seat in. But right now there's just assigning rows because, well, A, because it's new, they do that with most attractions, but also because of the coronavirus situation. Astrid's pointed out there's this kind of thing up there, but it seems to be on some sort of track, so I wonder if it usually like flies around. This is the final stretch of line I'll be able to record, but there's basically video instructions on how to use the wristband system and use the lockers and stuff like that. The locker room is right up there. And they give you these kind of rubber wristbands, which sure, camera doesn't want to focus, but they're actually pretty sweet. But yeah, so you put that on, it's a little RFID tag or whatever, put your stuff in the locker. And you put your stuff on one side of the locker, but then you get it out on the other side after you exit the ride. So it's pretty safe and secure and efficient. So you just pick any locker that's green. So that one, for example, just throw your stuff in, get it out on the other side when you're done. Oh, she locks herself out. <laughs> well, that was a waste of time. So the line was like 20 minutes or so, and we were literally going to be the next ones on the ride. And, and then it broke down. And said just evacuating everybody or whatever, it, they kept us waiting for like 45 minutes probably and then they just kicked everybody out without a fast pass or anything like that so well now that we can't do fly hopefully it reopens later we're gonna check out this Uhr work the new restaurant in the Rootberg section So they've got a downstairs as well as an upstairs seating area. So the chairs are kind of cool, they like swivel out. And then the menu comes in kind of like a newspaper format. It's pretty neat. I love for their craft beer section, you have delicacies like Miller Lite, uh, Coors Lite. <laughs> pretty extravagant if you're German, I guess. And, 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 Samuel Adams. Oof. Our beers came out in these ice buckets, that's pretty nifty. Ash got a Brooklyn Lager and I got a Kona lawn board. So I think we're gonna try this for our appetizer. It's like these pot sticker type things. It's like pasta though, and it has like ricotta and truffle and cheese and all this kind of stuff, so that should be tasty. And then for your other food, you got like tartar, poke bowls. Uh, you can get these fry, like loaded fry shovels, fancy burgers, and pastas as well. Ash is gonna try the Navigator, which is a chicken burger, and I'm gonna get the Pilot, which is a pork burger. Can't really see it from here, but of course the roller coaster is running now, so might have to give that another shot after lunch. Got her food, Ash got her chicken burger. We got these little pasta things. And then I got a yeah, pork burger. You just grab my bun. Oh my goodness, that was delicious. I am officially ill. What do you think, Ash? It was pretty good. Well, now that our bellies are full, I think we're gonna give Fly a second chance. Hopefully it doesn't break down again. So I just noticed, so back to this like tool shed room or whatever, there's these axes up here and they're actually pretty sharp. Jeez, not something you see every day. Back to the room with all the lockers and stuff like that, so. The next update I'll have for you guys will either be me very upset or Ashleen very excited. We shall see. All right, we just got off fly. Ash, what do you think? <laughs> I think it's a pretty mild like flying coaster because I'm used to stuff like, you know, Manta and Tatsu. But uh, it's a really fun ride. Line is way out the door now. 
but it's really cool right before the first launch there's like this whole kind of like dark ride segment you go past all these like projections and some of those like those hologram fan things like hyper vsn or whatever it's called displaying like goggles and all sorts of avionic stuff but super fun ride on the path from berlin to the fantasy area you can see work is in progress hanging up all the christmas lights getting ready for the winter trauma event it's exciting it's starting to rain outside a little so now would be a perfect time to get some winges action. Making our way back kind of toward Klugheim and stuff. There's quite a large line to get into the new Rukberg section, so I don't think we'll be checking that out again today. We were gonna stay like all day, and I know these are forbidden words, but we're gonna leave early. <laughs> but poor Ash didn't get a lot of sleep last night. My tummy hurts too. Probably from the water park food last night. So I think we'll just do Terran and Mystery Castle and then maybe call it a day. What do you think? There goes the Michael Jackson Thrill Ride, Colorado Adventure. It was kind of rough the last time I went on it, so not sure what was up with that. In China, they're starting to string up these lanterns for Christmas. It's really cool, all lit up during the holidays. I've actually only been on this ride once, and since it's walk-on today, it's going to be Ash's first ride. I don't know what word I just tried to say. I think I combined try and ride, but so you're gonna try it. And if you're wondering what Reich is, it's a Vekoma family boomerang. Kind of interacts with Terran, which is pretty cool, but it doesn't go upside down or anything like that. Just some twists and turns, but it's a pretty cool ride. Wow, there's literally no line for it today. I guess everybody's trying out the new fly attraction. Man, it's starting to get bright outside. I like how pretty much everything is walk on right now, but fly is 40 minutes. Jeez, I guess I wasn't the only one with the idea to come here today. Final ride of the day. Can't go wrong with some good old Mystery Castle. And here's the compulsory shot of that tower. Cute little garden area to sit in down there. What a relaxing ride, wouldn't you agree, Ash? Yeah. All right, I think that's gonna do it for today. Ash wants to be a party pooper and leave right when the sun comes out. Yeah, but to be fair, we both weren't really feeling good today. Uh, we went to this water park yesterday called Body Pelt New Skirchen, um, and we got like food there, you know. But man, the Thai food there. I don't recommend it, let's just say. So we're making our way to the China exit right now. Goodbye, Fantasia Land. Hopefully we'll come back during their winter event. Check everything out. Got a little park map and a Rukberg Gazette for the way out. Probably would have made more sense to grab on the way in, huh? Yeah. Here's the outside of the new Rukberg section, the Hotel Charles Lindbergh. We'll have to stay there someday and do a review on that. And that's gonna do it for today's adventure. Here's the new park map of Fantasialand and now it is complete. And they are running out of room. It looks like if they're ever going to do any future expansions, this is probably the area that's going to go next. But we'll see. Until next time, catch you guys later.